Well, Ian's brought us to a uh, level crossing near Rolleston and a freight train has just gone through. We are a safe distance, of course, from these tracks. And boy, I, the amazing thing was, Ian, is that I didn't even hear that train coming. It wasn't until I heard the bells, and the whistles and the barrier arms and that started going off that we knew the train was approaching. That's what happens uh, all the time. A lot of people just won't, uh, they're not aware of their surroundings when they're driving. They're so focused on getting to where they're going that they, they never see any of the warning signs that, uh, that is displayed at a crossing like this. You know, we've got, this is a brand new crossing here with new barrier arms, lights, and the lights and bells actually operate 800 metres out uh, when the train is approaching 800 metres away from the crossing. It seems like a long way, but that train was here before we knew it. That's correct, yeah. It's, so unless people are actually uh, focused on what they're doing when they're driving, they will miss the, the alarms. This happened so many times. And there's nothing else, you know, look, this, this is a problem worldwide with people hitting barrier arms or driving through crossing alarms in front of a train and being hit. And when you're dealing with the mass of a train travelling, you know, the weight of a train, the size of it, travelling at what it was 80 kilometres an hour, the force that that produces is incredible. And if you had a car and a train, we know it's going to come off second best, don't we? Almost oh, definitely the car, the car will come off second best. Kinetic energy of a, of a train at speed of 80 k's, even with, uh, it was only a small train at probably about 800 tonnes. So the sheer power of that hitting a vehicle is uh, something phenomenal. And you've got a really good demonstration that can show us a good idea of what that looks like on a smaller scale, haven't you Ian? Most definitely, yes. Okay, yeah. come and check this yeah. out. Okay, so Ian, you've got a, a Coke can down here on the ground, so what are you going to show us? Well, um, it's going to be like a simulation of a, of a train hitting a car. Right. So if you can imagine my size 12 steel toe cap boot as the locomotive heading along at 80 kilometres an hour, and the car is driving cross and crossing in front of us, and it's just... And that's about the, the force and the speed you're hitting that can at that car at, and the, uh, the, the, that car would have exploded at that speed. Yeah, well it's amazing because it went a long way, and I'm just going to go pick that can up. Yeah, look at that can. It's... It's munted. Don't be that Coke can. Definitely not, don't be that cocaine.